All right, so <coughs> here we are back on the stock talk, Jerry and Rich. We're going to uh, kick off our series again. Um, today, we're just going to go over uh, some of the things that we've been doing since our last videos. It's kind of been a little bit, I think, uh, last time we did it was before Christmas, maybe. Um, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So uh, go ahead and start kicking it off again. Uh, you know, Rich is excited to share some of his new updates to his uh, options trading he's been doing. And then I've made some some changes, small tweaks uh, to how I've been doing my GAN fans, really been helping me out. In fact, one of mine hit hit my uh, limit this morning for a 9% gain. It was a good day in the market anyway, uh, but it's always nice to take that 9% away. So, um, Rich, we'll go ahead and lead off with you. You say you want to uh, start, start talking about those... Um, options yeah all right so if i were to go ahead and let's say i get up in the morning and i'm like you know what i feel like buying a cash covered put a cash secured put right so this is what i do so i'm gonna go ahead and share the screen here Oh, it's loading. Yep. All right. Can you see yes. like my desktop there? Yep. See your desktop. Yep. All right. Awesome. All right. So I went ahead and opened these tabs here. Okay. So I found this new website called Option Dash. It's pretty cool, actually, for someone like myself. Which it covers exactly what I do. So covered calls and then cash secured put. That's pretty good. Downside is like, of course they want money, right? So, uh, you know, like it, I think I'm on the trial version or whatever, and it gets kind of pricey. You know, you're talking 300 bucks a year if you want to use this thing. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, would the you, covered would call. You, would you think you've already made the $300 using this? Yeah, I, I, nah, I don't know that. I've just, I mean, oh, like yeah, I said, it's yeah. only a week trial. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, I did like bounce because this covered call one uh, option here is open to all users. It's kind of free. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to pay for the premium subscription to get the cash covered put. But it's available right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Yeah. So these right here are the min price, max price. This is the, the amount of the stock itself. So uh, mm -hmm. pending each share, right? So $0 up to... Let's say I have uh, 3,500 bucks that I that I'm willing to like, um, kind of what is it? What is it called? Like freeze, so to speak, or put it on hold if I were to put a cash secured put. So like a cash secured put, all I'm doing is telling the system that I am willing to buy these shares at this price, and I have the money for it. And then that's it. And then and then I put the order in. So this so, money you're putting in right now, this isn't like cost per share this is the amount of money you're willing to put up is what you're saying yeah so let me let me just show you so okay. typically I'll, I'll start off at 35 bucks let's say i had three thousand five hundred dollars let's just say oh, i have three thousand five hundred cash sitting there right yep. so i'm going to do um zero to 35 so 35 times 100 you know yeah, is yeah. uh so uh then so this, mid is, this is price per share Right. It's yeah. just a break. It's, this is just a chart. So yeah. moneyness, I'm going to do like one strike out. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and just do that. It's fine. Whatever. And then I'll go expiration, whatever, leave that alone. And I'll do search. Now, strike out is like whenever, so options and correct me if I'm wrong, but options, when you're buying in, they have a strike price and you're saying like you're betting on it, hitting or not hitting that strike price. So when you say one strike out, that's like one price strike target strike price outside of the money, right? That's what you're talking about. Yeah, because you got like in the money, out of the money. Yeah. Uh, strike yeah. strike price is like the the price, like the target price that you're you're putting down on paper. Yeah. Uh, I'll pull up like a quick snapshot of what what that is. Why that's loading? Yeah. Let's see. So, for instance, like this, 
So the shares right now, 98 bucks for Google. Mm -hmm. And then here is see how it's like tinted blue. Yep. So these, these sides are puts, this sides are calls, right? Yep. Now, 98 bucks. So this is in the money on the call side. Yep. So you see the, see the, see that's in the money and this, the, the wider, the lighter color is out of the money. Mm -hmm. So this is $102 a share, $101 a share. And now we're going in the money. Calls and then is basically saying like you you think if you're playing calls you think the money's going to go up right and if you're doing puts you think the money's going to go down or the strike prices are going to go down. Yep. So like right here, I'm saying March third, forty two days out. Uh, let's let's get a little more here. So I'll do sixteen strikes instead of just showing eight. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's, those are the strike prices you're talking about. So it's going to show more on those charts. Yep. 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 Okay, so, cool. so now now it's showing eight, sixteen of them. So yeah. let's yeah. say let's say I'm like, all right, look, I own. So ca covered calls are saying that I I have the shares. I own the shares already. So now here I am. I, I'm willing to sell my hundred shares at a hundred and five bucks a a share. Okay, and that's that's out of the money. You see, so so it's eight ninety eight, and it's way it's kind of far out of the money. You know, you're like what six seven dollars out of the money. And what you're really and, selling is a contract, right? You're selling a contract. I, I'm, exactly. I'm selling a contract, and then you got the money here. These are the bid and the asking price of the premium that you'll receive by honoring by putting a contract up. Okay. So it's just it's pretty much that simple. So then you go. Okay. So back to the to the uh, screener here for the cash secured put. So here's the cash secured put. Like I said, I got 3,500 bucks. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and select bid. So you got the bid price. So oh. they're right here. So that's three three hundred and fifteen dollars of premium. Yeah, because it's because that's per share, and you have to buy a hundred right for the put or for the option. No, no, no. So so right here, Casavana, whatever the hell. So. This is saying thirty four eighty four, right? So let's let's do this. So Casavana, this is how I do it. So I'll go, I'll look at the top of the list here, and I go, okay, cool. So downside protection. I did make a, like a cheat sheet here, what kind of shows me. I've been kind of tracking. Downside protection needs to be below forty percent. So if I go here, so these are all good to go. So the lower the number, the less risky is what I've kind of gathered. The higher the number then chances of it is like it's going to go the opposite direction of where you want it to go. Let's just keep it simple, right? Mm -hmm. So um, like this one here, this premium here looks pretty good. BioCell Therapeutics, cool. Um, Casavana Sciences, okay, got it. So let's, let's check the top one here. Let's, let's look at this one. But then you got to keep in mind, though, the price of here. So like, this one here is only 19 bucks a share at GameStop, mm -hmm. and they're willing to pay it almost a $200 premium. So over what time period? Uh, whatever I select. So let's do let's do let's just do GameStop, okay? Because I'm familiar with GameStop. I don't even know who these people are yet, right. and I'd have to do some research. But I know who GameStop is. So or utility software. It's a gaming software. So I know that. So let's go GME. So what I do is I go here and I go. GME, put it in the system, and then I'll say I don't want to see calls because I'm doing I'm doing put. Mm -hmm. So I'll switch this so it's easier to view it. So we got so actually what I want to do is see Greece. I'll show you Greece next. So you got puts. All right, now there's a thing called like the theta. Um, actually I could just put on the Greek. So I did some research. They 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 named these after like the Greek gods. Mm. It's pretty. It's kind of an interesting history behind it. But it. it I mean, it's kind of it, it's kind of cool. But yeah, the only so one is the delta. Yeah, these all. That's the main one that you want to focus on. But these kind of like all show, like the gamma and like the theta co coincides with the delta. It's like I, I don't I don't really like I learned them, but I don't memorize how they work exactly i just know that delta is is my main go-to when i'm looking at these anyways because unless you're a really nerd out i mean you'll you end up losing your damn mind but i mean and, and we're using you, this to like 
determine like the probability, right? Like we're trying to figure out what the probability is that it's going to hit that strike price. Yeah, well, the delta actually is calculated to do something completely different, but in theory, it we use it as almost like a chance of, you know, of of hitting doing like the percentage of something changing or not. So I'll explain it. So like, all right, so first you want to go to around 35, 42 days around there because they call it like the, the curve. And after about, if you look like, for instance, 23 bucks here. So you got 155 to 180. You see that? Yep. And then 23, let's go, let's go uh, 14 days out, 23 bucks, 64 to 72. See the premium drop drastically. And then yeah. you got, and then you got seven days out, 23 bucks, 34. And then you got, and then today, uh, obviously it's worth nothing, right? Okay. Cause it, it's not, it's at 19 bucks. So, so you know, so the further you go out, the higher your premium is going to be, but there's a sweet spot. Like if you buy into the 42 day mark, you know, and you flip it, you sell the same, the same contract, you know, and you sell it for 34 bucks and you got a premium for, I don't know, 155, you know, you just made a nice little, a nice little, uh, bit of money right there by just flipping it, you know, and, but it, it does take time. You gotta be patient. So, um, so for instance, here's GameStop. So now I'm going to go ahead and look for Delta below 30. So 30 or below, nothing above 30. And when I say 30, I mean the 0. 0.3. So it can't be 0. 0.4. This Delta here is too high. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to sell a cash secured put, meaning that I'm willing to buy the share. Let's say this one here looks pretty good. Let's, let's, I like this one right here. So at 18, let's just, cause I think uh, this one you can't, well, maybe you can, but 1850. So 1850, right? So I'll go, I'll go back here to, let's see, I'll go to, cause I can't do it on the Greek. So just gotta remember 1850 in 42 days. So I go back up here to the put. Forty two days, eighteen fifty. All right, right here. And I'll go trade, right? Now it's gonna give me a now I'm gonna go to another window here. And right now I don't I don't have anything, right? All I got is thirty five hundred bucks. But I want that premium right now for GameStop. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty good. So here it is, March third, eighteen fifty. It's a put. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell to open. Okay, so I'm selling to open this put. So I'm, I'm offering my, I'm offering this contract up. Uh, so I'm selling it. So right now the bid at two thirty five, two dollars and thirty five cents. The mid is four forty eight, and the and the asking price is two dollars and sixty. Right now, I, from my experience so far, is you know, of course, when I'm like impatient, I'll just go. Just give me my market and I walk I, and I, I, and I leave with two, 235 bucks. Cool. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And I, and what I'm saying now, so if I do that, then automatically at 1850, my money gets on hold for $1,850. Mm -hmm. So I got, cause I, cause I got to buy it at 1850. Right. Um, so that's, that's just what happens. Right. So like, so now, but I, I pocket 235. So, but if I have time, what what I've seen is it is strong is really possible. Uh, it, my, this this bid ask price changes drastically in a day, especially if there's a lot of volume. So if I go, I usually go. Let's let's just do let's do the top asking price, two sixty, and I'll say day only, and I'll just put in the order. And trust me, I know it sucks to wait, but when it does fill, it feels a lot better because you just you know you made you know you made a better price you know you did the right thing, and you're gonna check it every ten minutes after you put the order in, and you're gonna be at telling yourself like maybe I should just do a market, and it's gonna go down, and you're gonna go oh shit I should have did a market, and then it's gonna go back up, and you're gonna be like okay okay, and then it's gonna all of a sudden it's gonna sell, and you're gonna be like oh I got two sixty sweet right nice. yeah, so that's so that's how you do a cash secured put. Um, now this screener 
is is pretty helpful. Um, and I say that because uh, typical typical traders, what they'll do is they'll just come in and they'll be like, uh, you know, they'll find let's see if I can. I don't know why it's not. Let's see. They'll do like, for instance, you got a screener, right? Yep. So what what ticker is like really hot on your screener right now? Can you just give me the ticker? Oh yeah, let me see here. So the one that I was looking at buying was gonna be a GB or GPK Golf Papa Kilo. Okay, GPK. So like, if I was in your shoes, I'd be like, oh, GPK, but you, that you're expecting it to go up, right? Which is a good. That's a good thing if you want to just kind of do a cash secured put on it, right? Because you kind of want it to go up uh, typically, but, you know, the sky's the limit how you want to do this. But, you know, how I do it is I want it to go up. I don't want it. I don't want to get in the contract. So mm -hmm. let's do that. I put it in GPK. It's, I know it's going to be hot. I know it's going to go up and look at what my options are. So I got I got 28 days and I got 56 days. 56 days is way too long. So I only got this one right here. So, okay, fine. Very well. So I'm going to look at my options here for GPK and look at here. I can, I can make a whopping five bucks. <laughs> you know, and it's like it, you, you could sit here and search for hours and you might get lucky with like a $25 one. Yep. This, this, this right here, this screener helps you skip all that shit. You know, it, it, it takes you right to the meat and potatoes of your premium. And uh, don't get me wrong, like I've let me let me just tell you what what happened. So um, this is kind of confusing. This is my portfolio right here. Yeah. So um, now, if you look right here, uh, these two right here. So these are see the P that's put. That's not cash secured put. Okay. okay. This one here, I put a cash secured put for 3500 bucks. So $35 a share. Yeah. All right. And I got a premium of $659. It's a nice premium. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Now, so far it's changed uh since I since I did it and it's went the price has went down, meaning the premium has lowered. So I can buy it back right now if I want for 425 bucks. You see that? So I made right now, if I were to buy it back, I would make a profit of 234. Okay. Right. It expired on February 17th. Okay. Now you remember that whole, the, the black swan or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah. The, so that this is the opposite of what happened. So I did the same thing. Cash secured put for $750 on hold. Right, seven dollars and fifty cents a share, a hundred shares, yeah. and I and I got a premium of two oh four. At the time, damn it! At the time, I was happy about it. I was like, cool, two oh four, sweet. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it went down, and that, you like it, like like you know, O R M P. Yeah. If uh, I think it's no, it's this one, O R M P. Um, Look right here. I bought it around right here. And look back. Boom. See how it gapped down? Yeah. That's, that's ugly, right? So when it gapped down, what do you think happened to the premium? Well, the premium ended up going up. Yeah. Because now it's closer to the, to the strike price. So that now the premium costs more. So let's say I want to get out of this shit. I'm like, OMP, I'm done with you. I want out. Yeah. Well, guess what? I got to pay $545 to get out now. Oh, you see that? Yeah, see. So I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. Right, I'm stuck. Now, now, don't get me wrong. If you do the math, like 545 minus 204, I'm still losing about 340 bucks. Yeah. In the negative. Is that one in the money? So that one is, if I, let me pull it up here. Was it ORMP? Yep. So ORMP. Uh, or mp and the date was 17th february for 750 uh, let's see. Yeah, February. 750 so yeah, yeah that's like way in the fucking money yeah or for the put you see so the strike price is right here 
Does that mean that once you get to February 17th, like you're going to basically give them 750 and you're going to get 100 shares of that stock? Oh, yeah. And it's going to be worth $2 a share. <laughs> You know, and that that is the that is the that downfall of cash secured puts. That's the risk that you're willing to take. Now, now don't get me wrong. Like I'll still have a hundred shares, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I could still play the game. So th this goes back into what I was talking to you before we started. This is yeah. the three strike rule, right? So first strike is this this happening this is a bad strike right this is like oh shit like i i i got i got struck out right i, I struck one so yeah. here it is i'm out now now i'm forced to buy this at two dollars a share okay so fast forward now all of a sudden i own it right so now i'm going to do a covered call yeah. right so i own it at 17 you know i own it at two dollars a share yeah. right and then I'll go back into like, I don't know, 56 days or some crazy crap. And I'll, and I'll put in a cash covered call for like 250 or whatever. And I'll make 20 bucks and I'll try to crawl myself out of the hole. <laughs> right. And, and, and then that's the goal is to try to get out of the hole. And then, you know, you never know, like, uh, this right here could ultimately go back up. I don't know. Yeah. So th this right here, this is a, this is a, um, uh like they test on diabetes and stuff they their medication stuff and they failed one of their third phases of the trial and when it failed a lot of the investors got out of it they just lost uh, faith in the company and they bailed out and there's a large sell-off yeah. um of of the company now this is a rare situation like, this shit happens this is what happens sometimes you know so I'm just on the bright side, you know, it's only 300 bucks. I mean, I'm not like, it's yeah. not like detrimental. Like, yeah. so to be honest, like I can just, I can hope this goes up a little bit and I can sell it. I can get rid of it. You know, if I am forced to buy it, I can just turn around and sell it for sell my hundred shares for 200 bucks or whatever. And, yeah. and just walk away, you know, with $400 and I lost 500. So I lost a hundred bucks, you know, it's like, yeah. it's not like detrimental or anything, but, um, you know, that, that's what happens sometimes, but I, I did want to show you this cash secured put thing. So now once this expires, I won't have the cash secured put option, but so I, I was able to use the covered call option, which is kind of cool because if you think about it, um, if I do strike out, I'm going to want something that's kind of, kind of doing well in the covered call realm. So um, it's okay to use this as well. So uh, if I go to like ten dollars a share, mm -hmm. searching. Um, and for covered and I, calls, it's backwards. You have to buy the stocks and then sell the contract, right? Yep. So like Snap here, so S N M P S N A P. That's ten dollars nine ninety eight a share. Yep. They're offering a pretty pretty nice premium downside protection pretty risky and then so i'll go here and i'll go snap even though it's a covered call right i'm not in it though like i'm i'm i haven't bought the cash secured put so i'm not in it i'm actually just looking for a cash secured put right now so i'll just i'll flip it back to oh so you can still see the the put stuff here you just won't be able to do the put screener right yeah, yeah i'm kind of getting ahead of it before i'm cut off so you got 42 days. So let's say, I mean, let's say like, I, I mean, I don't mind. I believe I have to look it up. So what I do for that is I'll go here and I'll put in snap. Yeah. Um, and I'll do a quick, I try to learn a little bit about it. I don't, I don't get into the whole financials or nothing like that. I'm not, I'm not really that interested in that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I did find these new um, indicators, which are kind of cool. And it tells you sell put, oh, sell call. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. And so like, and then the green is like, it's going to go up. Mm. It's forecasted to go up, which means that's a good time to sell a put because you want it to go up. Right. And then if it's going to go down, that's a good time to sell a call because you don't want it to go up. You want it to go down. So right now, 
snap is saying, hey, you should probably sell a put because it's probably going to go up. And I say, hmm, it's offering a good premium, right? And it's at 9.99. It's forecasted to go up. I'm not. So then I start looking at the deltas. So 36, 30, 25. So let's just do 30. Let's do a solid 30, 74, 76. And then I'll put a bid in like a, a limit order for like maybe 75, 76 bucks. And then boom, I'm in it. And my money, my money gets frozen for 900 bucks. And I just made a $75 uh, premium and I, and I'm, and now I'm in it. And that's my, that's how I do that. And then uh, how, for tracking purposes, uh, what I'll do is uh, I know this looks like just craziness, but uh, for instance, these three these are my open ones and all the rest are closed so like uh let's do ormp so i sold a cash secured put and i got a 204 dollar premium okay and then the put price was seven dollars and fifty cents the delta was 0.21 it's negative because it's a put but it's i'm looking for the 0.3 that's what i'm looking for and then the how many how much days it's open and then the cash secured so how much cash was secured 750 bucks and then the adjusted growth uh, cost basis. So the premium at the time was, you know, it, it, this is what I'm asking. Uh, this is what I'm saying I'm going to buy it at. But with the money, the, with, the, with the premium that I got, the traffic from this, and this is what the adjusted cost basis is. And, now, and it fucking plummeted to $200. So yeah. this adjusted cost basis don't mean shit to me now. But <laughs> like, you can get down to the wire like that if you need to. Yeah. You just got to keep all that in mind. Um, so like this one here is okay. Like Rita, uh, sold cash secured, put $659 premium. I was pretty happy. Yeah, that's, that's a cool. nice premium. Uh, 35 put price, you know, and I was really worried because I was like, man, that's a, when you see juicy numbers like that, it's kind of a red flag. You're like, I don't know about that. You know, and I just said, you know, screw it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to jump in and look, it's the same, look at point three. And then, and then if you look, ORMP did worse than Rita. Rita's doing good. If you look at Rita, yeah. Rita's up, you know, Rita's up. Uh, I'll just switch it to percentage because everybody likes percentages. Yeah. Uh, I just, I switch, I'm up 35% yeah. right now in Rita yeah. for my premium, right? And I'm negative 166% <laughs> for damn ORMP. So like... And, and, and so this 659 is not looking, it's a pretty good deal. So 38 and then, but here's the, here's the catch. This is how much I had to secure yeah. $3,500, which that's not a, that's, that's a lot of money to me, but yeah. you know, uh, you know, so $3,500 on hold. Um, and I'm like, I was really worried that Rita was going to do a, a, do a RMP and I was going to get stuck with that with a $3,500 bill. Yeah. I was like, man. Yeah, but um, that thirty five to me, I look at thirty five and I'm like, dang, that's like thirty five hundred dollars. That's not working. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, it it kind of is working. I mean, it's it's the I, I'm still saying I'm gonna buy it. It's still on order. Yeah, I mean, it's not, that's true. So I mean, don't get me wrong. I can I can just go right now, or if the market's closed, but I can go in and I can sell. I can just buy back this this contract and I can walk away with this thirty five percent gain. Yeah. But to be honest, like it's on March 17th or February 17th, this whole 659 is mine. This this 35% turns into 100%. Oh, okay. So like, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm just going to chill out and hold on to it. You know, maybe I'll sell it seven days out when it's worth like $10. You know what I mean? I'll walk away and then, and then I, now I, I got $3,500 plus the premium. So now I'm at $4,000 uh, and I can, then I can go here uh, and I can do, you know, I'll do 40. And it, as you know, as you go higher in price, typically um, the bid uh, or the premium, they tend to get bigger, yeah. you know? So uh, if, you, if you're messing around a little $2 shares or whatever, look at this, 580. Here's a good one, Rita Pharmaceuticals. I already flipped it. Oh, that's, wait a minute. Rita's, that's, that's the one I'm in, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so uh, yeah, so like you, you just, uh, that's what that's all I do. I just I this is what I've been doing. And right now, um I I you know, I did that. So every time I buy it back, right, it costs money, right? So I bought Google back, I lost I spent thirty six dollars to buy it back. So I'm tracking all that, right? I adjust a a, a a cost basis. 
And then like I, I bought it and then I sold it for $98, blah, blah, blah. I adjusted the cost basis again, right? Google again, I bought it again for $79 to so minus 79. I adjusted the cost basis again. I just keep doing it. Google, so these Google, I own hundred shares. So I'm doing covered calls. So CCs yeah. uh, and then like down here, this is, I got kind of screwed today. Okay. So if you look, if you look at the stock market right now, Google did great today. Like, I think it was up fucking 6% or some shit. It's like crazy. it did very well today. Well, that's not good for me. So if it goes <laughs> up, the co the covered calls go down. Oh. So you want, so you want it to do, I, it's, it's opposite day over here, you know? So you got to always <laughs> covered calls or this and, and, you know, so, so for me, Today, Google's going up and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, Google's going up. And I look at my covered calls and I was like negative 140%. And I was like, shit, <laughs> you know, so I, so this is what I did. This is what you do if you want to in this scenario, right? So today, Google was up. I, if you look right here, this is the original one I bought it for 107. I bought Google for 107. Um, and then. And t and then today, the same contract, the February 24 contract, was worth $327. Mm -hmm. So I had to buy it back for $327, which I lost $220 in that deal. Yeah. Okay. Now, I literally just resold it the next, the, within five minutes, I resold it at a, at a different date with a higher strike price, 104. So I went from a 101 to a 104. And I sold it for 224. So I, so I didn't, I, I didn't really lose any money if you think about it. So yeah. I just changed my strike price. Yeah. I just moved up the ladder a little bit. So if it does hit my strike price, I'll get instead of 101 a share, I'll get 104 a share. Now, options have commissions with them too, right? Yeah, uh, it's 65 cents a trade. Okay. Yeah, what's that? A, hey, shit. That's like, that's like, you know, I'm happy to give it to them. Here you go. <laughs> Now, if it was seven dollars or nine dollars, I'd be like, "Man, this is some bullshit." Like, I don't know if I want to do this, you know. Yeah. But sixty-five cents is like it's like stupid shit. It's like tax, basically. It's like so, so, um, so. Right now, if you look at um, like the cost basis, the original one cost basis was ninety-nine eighty-one um, for Google, right here, and then I sold it. Oh, no, excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, I, I bought it. I bought it back and the cost basis went up to 103 because I spent 327 bucks and then I sold it and my cost basis is at $100.85 now. So my cost basis actually went up a little bit with that trade. But um, all in all, uh, since I've started this back in October of last year, so October, November, December, January, so you're talking maybe like four months or so. I've made a total of sixteen fifty-two in premium, uh, and that's that's to include all the the additions and subtractions. So this is it's just a a sum of all these numbers here, yeah. and uh, yeah, and and these numbers when I first started on a different thing. So I was I was all these different tabs here. So. Um, yeah, and then a daily payout. Like I, I, I was curious, like how much I'm getting paid daily just by sitting on my ass clicking these buttons. So it's four dollars and fifty cents a day is what on average what I'm making, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, average premium is thirty five dollars. Uh, I get on average per contract, uh, which isn't bad either. So like, the way I look at it is like if I if I'm feeling like down in the dumps, you know, I'll be like, what's four dollars and fifty three cents a day times three sixty five? Oh, cool, I make this much money doing this stuff. You know, it's like to me, like I'm not I'm not make kill, breaking the bank or nothing. I'm not like killing it or anything. But I enjoy math and I enjoy this hobby and I enjoy flipping and playing games with this stuff and it's entertaining to me. It's enjoying to me. So. Like this is like a game to me. Yeah. So it seems, um, like, it seems like it's more profitable too than what some of those other things that we've been doing in the past. I, so I like it because, and you know, it, this is going to blow your mind, but I like it because there's more options. 
You know what I mean? That's why it's called fucking options. Because you have more options. Like there's just a lot more options. And 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 the fact is, is like somebody that just buys and sells stock, they're not doing options. I like I like more options, you know. And and I'm telling you, there are a shit ton of options. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done yeah. the covered call stuff in the past. Um, but that was it. It was way different for me than what you're doing. This is kind of cool. I can see. Yeah, let, me, let me profitable. Let me stop presenting here. All right. All right. So I'll just show you, I guess, kind of sort of what I've been up to. So here, here's kind of like uh, my spreadsheet, and uh, all right. So like, you know, I've got a bunch of things hidden here. We can kind of see how last year sort of was kicking my ass during the summer months, um, and then I I changed up. I started doing the. Uh, um, you call it uh those fans around november and then that's when i was really starting to make some money um and i'm not it's not great but you can see like what is this uh i have 17 trades uh two three four five five are red so five out of 17 of my past ones uh i made some money um and it's all you know like eight nine percent there's a couple fours in here you know little little guys um but one of the things that i did to sort of change up how i was doing this was uh if you remember before what i would do is when i drew all this stuff on i would put a line here that would go down 45 degrees right mm-hmm. on top and bottom and i use that as like a reference line and then i would overlay the fans on top of that 45 degree angle uh and go from there but then i I was doing some more reading and uh and thinking about it so these fans are set at 45 degree angles from this this 1.0 right and then the angles kind of change down this way you know i'm like it doesn't make sense for me to set this 45 degree guideline because it's kind of skewing what i'm doing right so what I do now is when I draw them, so I draw the tops and the bottoms. I find where the swing high is, like I've always done. When I go to draw the fans from the bottom, I'll I'll draw to the top of whatever you know the, the highest is during this time, the top of the green bar. And then on this side, I will go to wherever the lowest of the red bar is, all right? And what that's going to do is you're going to see like, some of these are going to look different, right? Like on this one, you can see you get a lot more downward angles here than you do on, say, this one, right? Because what it's, what it's really doing is it's making these fans line up with the chart, you know? Can you can you maybe, um, like, just grab any, any other, like, clean chart and throw down a fan on it? Just like, yeah, or does it take a long time? Like, what do you have? Uh, give me, give me a. Uh, let's, let's do the. Well, uh, let's just do GME, the GameStop one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, like this one, off the bat, I could tell you I'd probably never buy it, just because this black line here <clears throat> is my 200-day moving average, right? So if it's right. below 200-day, I wouldn't. Let's do Google, because Google should be up. All right. Well, I mean, you can still lay the fans down on it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit, that one's bad too. Now we'll go back to GME. <laughs> All right. So uh, I go back like six months. So six months ago was about August time, right? Uh, I'll sort of make this like this. Um, and then I need to find my highs and my lows. So there's my high. Uh, here's my low. And then the next spot is I'm gonna look for where the last swing high was, like the upward momentum swing. And see on this one, it's hard to tell. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd probably pick here. Um, you know, this, what is it be, I guess? 
then I throw down what helps me is my Fibonacci retracements. So I put those down. And these kind of give me an idea of where the actual high and low is. Um, and I will let the dogs bark, of course. Um, okay, lock that. And then we'll zoom in. And then, so then we'll get the fan. Um, okay. So now I'm looking for. In this particular area, where is the, the high, the highest green bar, which is... Oh, it's got to be the green one? Yeah. So uh, it's kind of here, right? So yeah, yeah, I see so. This one's going to be kind of a shit one, but we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to put my one right there off of that, all right? Um, and then I'd lock this. I made these like a... A thicker line now too, so I can see them better. So these fans kind of capture swings, right? So if it's if it's trading sideways for a long period of time, like it's not a very good company to get into, right? Yeah, that's why. I, like you, you have to um, to really use them uh, the way I'm using them. It's like really good for momentum stuff. So you want stuff that's kind of an upward trend so like we'll look at ulta like ulta is not one i would buy but we'll say um you can see you see how the i mean i've been in and out of ulta a few times that's why it's already got this on there you can see how it's got like this and ulta is a good one to sort of trade because you can see how it goes up it falls down goes back up falls down goes back up and it probably is about to fall back down i bet yeah and so you're looking for like almost like wavy type of companies, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, if I, like th like this one, Wire. I know you heard me talk about Wire a whole lot last year. Like, yeah. I made so much money with Wire. Just by buying, it's like they say, buy uh, buy low, sell high. I mean, in a way, right? Yep. And on this one, so like I don't count this area as like a swing trade because it never hit the top here right but like we can kind of see back here how it sort of started going up and it you know, it did hit this dip but it kept going so i would call probably this bar my swing um over here and then when you put that this is like kind of when you put that swing in that's really the only subjective piece to this um yeah because i can say oh it's three days prior to that and you can be like no i think it's more right here like yeah like that that's the only part that i'm really kind of trying to hammer out on this whole thing like if i could ever get that you know find out what about what about uh uh looking at since you're only looking at a like a small window of of uh bars what about what about putting its perspective the type of bar it is like a dragonfly or like a oh. or you know and to di to di to decide what which one is the day of the swing because uh the type of bar it is kind of outlines the momentum of it you know what i mean yeah i've not thought about it that way i'd have to do more research because i'm not like yeah you know that's i've never been able to just identify like the, the types but so this kind of like where it is but so you can see because this one is like way the hell out here um, this part, it was great had you got in, like, right around here. Um, you know, so this one would be a tough one to try to pick at. Uh, GPK, the one I was telling you about earlier. So here's the one. You know, so now you kind of see the, the bars. I've got it on my, like, buy now list because, you know, I'm looking. So what I'm looking for is, like, two days good and buy on that third day so like i'm looking relative to this this line here it's above it um so i mean like i'm ready to go i'll, I'll probably pull the trigger um on this one so what are you looking for like uh, are you looking for like the breakout because right now it looks kind of in that it's trapped in that box there yeah so that's the only 
crazy part because it could go up and hit this line and then fall back down. But I'm I'm really banking on it being above this line here. Um, and if it opens anywhere in this area, like I'm like, alright, you know, let's let's buy this thing. And then I'll look at we'll see if it hits like somewhere around there. Um and probably you know around here. So now I'm a little bit less interested that I put that there. I mean, because that's only 3%, you know what I mean? Like, I have to go all the way down to here to get 5%. Yeah, well, it's not, that's not a big mover then. No, yeah. So and what I've been doing is really wherever I purchase it at, I only want to go to the next lowest Fibonacci line. Um, and kind of use the bars around here to give me an idea where that uh, support line is. And then I'll, you know, I'll be like, all right, well, that's what I'm going to do. But it's got to be 5% or more, you know what I mean? Like, if it's not 5% or more, like, I'm not wasting my time with it. So in, in this case, the, the graphic packaging holding company, so that one, uh, you'd have to really squeeze out 5% on that one, right? Like, uh because it's like looks like it's around four percent of gain, a one for one ratio. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to pull up my other chart here. Let's see. Uh, sorry, ACDC. Let's see what they look like. Um, so here's another one. All right, so we went up. It, it hit some resistance, it fell, dropped pretty big. It was like a 7% loss on that day. Uh, and then it stopped, fell back down. So it hit here. To me, like once it did this, I put a, that's my note in there. It says need second day validation. And then you can see like the next day it did this, which I'm like, okay, so it's, it's respecting this line in my opinion. Um, so now I'm gonna be looking to buy uh you know buy it so it's a spinning top so it like went all the way up so the it, it was the buyers and sellers are kind of competing right now yeah it depends on but where it, it is holding true to that line though yeah so it depends on where it opens if it opens around there we come to say here i mean that's like seven percent you know so i would I would definitely take a look at this one. Um, I mean, even you can see like it's been way above this too, you know what I mean? Like in the past few months. Uh, so it's got a pretty good, you know, as long as it continues to go. Yeah, and look at those bars though. Look how big they are. I mean, they can e that can easily move all the way to your ratio in one day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because this is like a 15% day. This is like an 8% day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it could go either way, really. You know what I mean? Like, but, yeah, but that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, I definitely, you know, um, I might take a look at. Uh, uh, some of those options type of things, you know, see what that's all about too. Give me a chance. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, like uh, so. For instance, let's say, let's say, do you have um, what kind of money do you have on the side? Uh, if you were to if you were to get into options, like how much would you be willing to to test with? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd have to take a look. If you were to like, I don't know, let's say I'm your, I'm your broker and you give me the money and I'll mess with it. You know what I mean? Like, all right, here's, it's 200 bucks and, uh, you know, and I'll, and I'll, so I, I just want to try to put in perspective, just give me a number, any number. Okay. Say, uh, 2,500. 2,500 bucks. That's uh, more than enough to work with. So you got, so I could, I'll just do straight up. Actually, I'll do. I'll do thirty dollars uh, -huh. uh because I can I'm chances are I'm gonna go out of the money a little more, so the 
pre- the price of the stock will go down. I just know 25, 25 is my cutoff. So let's say, um, let's say, so we got RCUS for 21 and it could $250. So check that out. So RCUS, uh, And then uh, we'll do the we'll do the Greeks. We'll just leave the Greeks up. So RCUS has a fifty six. So let's do just do the twenty eight day one, February seventeenth. So and right now it's trading at twenty one twenty six. So let's go put think uh for the trading view. So RCUS. Check it out real quick. Um, because I've messed around, that's not, I don't like the way that, so because I've messed around with uh, different, uh, like doing support and resistance line, I can kind of look at the chart and get an idea of what it's, so something happened right here. I don't know, there's a, a large sell off that day. Uh, there's no earnings reported. Um, maybe the news here, because that was, let me see here, they was at, uh, 19. It's red, so it's not, it's not a good day to do puts, right? Like they should do calls. Yeah, so it, right. So it wouldn't be a, a very good one. So it says anti tidget containing study arms improve progression. Uh, so Tesla looks to end skid Nike earnings. So something happened right here. Uh, RCUS among healthcare movers. So like I would read this headline here and try to get an idea of what's going on with the RCUS, but it looks like it's a medical thing, biosciences, and they probably failed their trial, third trial, just like my other one I was into. And what's this saying? Hey, sell a call right now because it's probably going to be down for a while. Yeah. So, you know, with that, take it in perspective, like, okay, but it's already kind of got hit, right? So then I look at the fact, like, in the past, however long, let's just scroll way out, you know, what's the lowest it's ever been? Like this one here? Yeah. So you're talking uh, like $16.40. That's the lowest it's ever been. And right now it's at 17. I just don't see it getting lower than it's ever been. I mean, it's still a company. I mean, it's got, it got hit with bad news. I just, I don't see it. At, I mean, look at, we can go all the way back. I mean, oh, well, here we go. Now it's getting, so now in the beginning, you know, the beginning of time, it was six bucks, you know, so that it could ultimately drop back down to six motherfucking dollars. Now, if that happens, though, like you're going to be forced to buy the company at let's go back to the trade here at uh you'll be forced to buy the company at 17.50 or 20 dollars a share yeah. and if it goes to six dollars yeah that's kind of a fucking hit you'll probably lose a thousand dollars i mean but you'll be you'll be i mean i hope you like biosciences because you'll be <laughs> for a while. You know, you're like, get, get, get comfortable because you're in for the long haul now. Like, uh, but, I mean, if you want to be, like, just a really safe person, I mean, you can – how I started out, honestly, is I just – I went, like – I went with a company I'm familiar with and I trust, right? So, um, like, okay, Wire, right? You like Wire, right? You, oh, you yeah. talk hot. I love Wire. Talk, you talk high about them and yeah. shit. So you, so if, if if you if you got stuck in wire, you you they're still an out, right? You yeah. still feel comfortable, like okay, they're still an out for me. Yeah. Um, now let's do let's do uh, what the hell is it showing that? Let me see. Oh, it's showing all because 149. Oh. Oh. Okay, so here we go. All right, so 
damn, 140. So do you have fourteen thousand dollars? <laughs> 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 yeah, so maybe wire not a good one. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that right now. <laughs> All right, well, look, is there a, is there a cheaper one that you that you talk high about? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I could pull. Let's see here. Uh, about Meyer M Y E. All right. M Y E. Made a couple dollars with him. Uh twenty three bucks. Okay, that's in your price range. Yep. Cool. And then we're gonna look at let's just see the twenty eight days. See there ain't much meat on the bones, you know? Yeah. Uh talking so what you can do um is do something like that, like say to say like you're willing to get into it at twenty dollars a share, uh, the delta's ten, or so chances of it hitting that is slim to none. Yeah. And there's like a ninety percent chance it won't. For some reason, the delta goes up as you. Get, that doesn't make any fucking sense. But uh, yeah, so like uh, so for instance, you can do. I know the bid says zero, but it also is asking for forty. But I don't know what the fuck's up with this one. This is 40 and this is 185. So something <laughs> weird about this one. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this don't make no damn sense, really. So it's yeah. 50. Uh, does this one make sense? Fucking, the 56, 215, 35. See, this is also fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know why it's somebody. Yeah. So. I wonder if it's about to split or something. Yeah, maybe maybe there's a split in, in play or something. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um but uh usually usually Apple Apple's a good one. Apple's a good uh I can't afford Apple. Oh you can't afford Apple? Let's see how much is that? Oh one thirty seven, yeah. Uh what else is it? I bought you you know what? Build a bear. You're talking some oh, shit about yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I'm in I'm in Build a Bear right now. Oh, there you go. So yeah. what is that? BBY, I think? No, BBW. BBW. Yeah. Uh B- uh build a bear right 23 bucks yeah yeah all right and then i tell you from experience like build a bear has went up quite a bit in the past year uh yeah. <laughs> so it's in your account too i heard you know I've, oh, yeah, yeah. I've almost got enough shares to buy it to yeah i can show you right cover calls yeah. <laughs> let's see gain and loss let me see build a bear that's BBY. Yeah. yeah. Where the hell is Build a Bear at? Uh, Google. Oh, there it is. I don't, I don't like how they sorted this out. Look at eight, 814%. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my kid got it for a whopping $2.53 a share. Nice. And he fucking won't let me sell them. So I got to sit here <laughs> and I can't buy into them and I just got to look at it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because <laughs> if I buy into it, then it starts skewing his results. So I can't, I can't fuck with build a bear. So, and all I did was I take the reinvest dividends. So this kid's just sitting there collecting dividends. Uh, and he spent should, five bucks. What you should have done is when it was a hundred percent profit, you should have put your, you should have put your whole portfolio in there. You know, I've actually thought it, it dropped down to 700%. I thought about taking my shit and throwing it in there because I knew it was going to go up a hundred percent again. Cause it does that. <laughs> It goes down 100%, up 100%. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I'm only, let me see, how much am I trying to make on build? I'm not trying to make 100. On build a bear, I'm only trying to make uh, 8%. Yeah, but I bet you that I didn't, I never looked at it on the on the training view. I bet, I bet the swings are freaking outrageous. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. They probably got some wild ass swings. Like, yeah, that that was an easy one for me to pick where the swing was. Is it was the fucking day that it gapped up twenty two percent. Yeah, like what the fuck? So I think it's like I think it's like a meme stock. Like you know, all these all these yuppies out there like playing games with the with the man, <laughs> and sticking it to the man, you know. Yeah. But uh, but so but you can you can get you can play some puts with this, right? So let's say. Let's say you're like, okay, 23. So 
asking you right now, like, do you think it's going to drop down to 20%? Like, well, do you, or 20, six days, 20, right? We want to do less than that. Yeah. 28 days is yeah. okay. So let's do, actually, we can probably do, no, we can't do less. So tomorrow, or when it opens up on Monday, they'll, they should have another contract here. It'd probably be like 21 days or some bullshit. Oh, okay. But let's say, um, let's say you want to get in this. Now, based off your, you can actually utilize your chart skill that you have mm -hmm. to determine yourself the chances of it hitting 20 bucks, oh, right? Oh, yeah. So you, you can play that game too. I just use the Delta yeah. and I don't even look at the damn chart. But you can you can analyze the chart and then ask yourself, wh what's the chances in 28 days it'll reach 20 bucks? Yeah, I could use right? the, I could use the fans because the fans you should, can the, should, should show you the momentum, you know. And that's probably way more accurate uh, than the delta because if you do some research on the delta, all it is is just a, it's a math uh, equation that gives you a number, and mm -hmm. and and traders just use it as like a baseline to determine if uh the chances of it reaching that price so like i said like like 17 percent uh so that means you flip it so you're talking like 83 percent chance it will not hit 20 dollars. so that's telling me and I, also by looking at this i can get an idea if build a bear is going to go up or down by looking at options because i'm like well shit build a bear looks like it's going to be going up even higher than 800 fucking percent so now i gotta look at it longer and next thing you know, it's at a thousand percent or some shit, right? Yeah. So the twenty dollars, and then you say, "All right, cool. I don't think it's going to reach twenty bucks in twenty-eight days. There's no fucking way. I think it's going to get higher. I think it's going to reach twenty-five, right? So I'm not. And even if it does reach twenty bucks, like I'm okay with that, right? I, I'll buy in this build a bear at twenty bucks a share, right? So yeah. all all you do then is just go back up to your puts here and then um you know you just go ahead and select trade and so right now see it, it went down uh 15 bucks uh today because i want to say maybe if i pulled up did build, i want to say build a bear probably uh did bad today or uh, actually they did great so plus one percent so if it goes up, uh, puts go down, like the put premiums go down because it's yeah. further away. So ultimately, if you're patient, like I'm pretty, I try to be patient, but I'm not like really patient. But if you really can, can control your emotions and control yourself, um, then what happens is like you want to wait patiently for a bad day for Build-A-Bear. Okay. And if it's negative 5%, your premiums are going to be through the roof for put. Oh yeah. And then you buy on a shitty day. And if it flips around and it, you have a good day, uh, the next couple of days after you just instantly made 40% on your premium and you can just sell it right then. You can make a cool 50 bucks in a couple of days yeah. just by doing it like that, you know, but in this case it was high to the, yeah, a, a, a percent. Yeah. So the, the premium went down 15 bucks. So it was at $45 like yesterday, you know what I mean? Or starting of the day. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to sell to open. So I'm going to sell to open at $20 a share. I'm going to put a limit price just for today. And I'm going to say that I will do that. I will buy it at $20 a share for, I'm going to go max out of the thing. I'm going to do it for 50 bucks. I'll do it. And I, I'm going to pocket the 50 bucks. And then, and then when you say review order, uh, it'll say it'll minus the 65 cents. So it'll be 49.30 or 49.35. That's how much money you'll get in your pocket. Oh. And then, and then now you got 49 bucks in your pocket, ready to go. Right. And then, and now you have a contract that will kind of look like this. It'll say like build a bear with the date and it'll say 20 mm -hmm. here and it'll say put. And then it'll have your, uh, it'll have your, uh, premium that you got right here oh, okay. or no, it'll have your premium, your, your $20 or whatever the hell it'll be 49 35 will be right here. Um, and then, uh, the next day, let's say it drops, uh, build a bear drops. 
5%. Well, now your premium just went up, right? So now your premium is worth $50, or excuse me, like $75 for premium. Now, now you kind of screwed yourself, right? Because you, you could have, if you just waited a day, you could have made 75 bucks instead of 50. Mm, yeah. So that's why it's better to buy or sell puts on bad days and, and sell calls on good days. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it's, it's like, that's how, that's just how it works. Now, uh, the thing is, is this is like, this is like an order to buy. So you, you're making premiums and, and, but at the end of the day, it's really not that bad. I mean, you're really just buying the company. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so yeah, you got a ship price, but you can have a ship price regardless. Like you can literally buy the company. And then at the end of the day, it's up five bucks and you're like, oh, yeah, I could have fucking made, I could have made a lot of money by waiting, you know? Yeah. That a bunch of times, you know. So th it's a, this is like kind of the same principle, but you have an out as well. Like yeah. even if you get called to buy it, like all you got to do is just go in here. You literally just go. So for instance, here let me show you it. Um, O R M P right two seventeen twenty three. I literally just do this, like just like I'm putting in an order. And and when you're bored and you just want to trade, you're just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna trade something. Uh, that's what that's what happens to me sometimes. I'll just go in and I'll I'll just sell it. I'll just buy my I'll just buy the put back or call and then I'll flip it and I'll be like, cool, and I'll be happy. I got I got I got my fucking yeah. I fulfilled my you know my itch. So let's see, uh, you got O R M P. You know, and I tell talk to my wife about it. I said, babe, I made thirty five bucks. She's like, Okay, great, yeah. you know. I <laughs> really care and I'm like, Okay, that's cool. She's like, Why don't you just call Meyer? Like, talk to him. And I'm like, <laughs> but, Well, you know, like I'm trying to talk to you, yeah. so yeah. yeah. Like uh yeah. you know, like I, I tell people in percentages, you know, like uh like, like I was telling my, my old boss man, you know, I was like, Hey, I made like nine percent today. He's like yeah, like how, how much? How much is that? You know, like, all right, you're like nine dollars. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's like uh, nine, ninety cents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so like uh, ORMP, you got. So I put it in right ORMP, and let's say I want to buy it back. So I literally just do this two seventeen twenty three. Okay, I'll go back to two seventeen right here, two seventeen, and then the actual strike price is. 750. All right, so it's right here. And now this is the bid, right? So I go trade. Come on. Okay, there it goes. So this one is like, so right there, you see this position? I have I have a position in this. So okay. I I sold I sold to open. And now I want to buy to close. Uh, so I say, I, I like, okay, I'm, I want to get, I want out. Like, I, I think this is going to go even worse. Like, and I was hoping like this dropped, as you know, drastically. And I was hoping it was going to like go up. And it seems like every time I look at it, it's going lower. Look <laughs> today, negative, negative 237. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. And every time it goes lower, the fucking premium gets higher. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, now the cost to buy it back is even more. Than it was when it first dropped. Yeah. So it's like my knee jerk reaction when it happened was like, oh shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm out. And then I was like, wait a minute, let's see if uh, it triggers. Mm. And it didn't. It didn't. It didn't trigger because like I'm in the money. Yeah. And typically, like when you're in the money, the end of close of of the market, it'll like put in the order, and next thing you know, like you're you have a hundred shares. <laughs> at fucking two dollars you're like you're like okay that that was cool you know like uh, let's get out of it but for some reason it hasn't done that oh, and i'm wow. like well shit you know so part of me is thinking oh man somebody knows this is fixing to really plummet and i'm about to lose <laughs> all of it you know what I mean? or yeah. or like it's just nobody wants it yeah. and nobody's nobody's willing to mess with it right now so it's like Maybe, maybe if I just hold out, I mean, I got till February 17th, yeah. you know, 
Um, and yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, the closer I get to the day, the higher the premium is going to be. Yeah. yeah, so that means like, I will, I will eventually be at 100. Well, I'm already at 160%, but I will eventually be like, kind of screwed. Like I'll be stuck with it in the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right now, let's say I want to get out. I'm like, fuck it. I'm out. I made a mistake. I, I, I lost, right? So I'll go, I'll go buy the clothes and I'll, and I can either do market where it just straight up gives me asking straight up 570, which is like high, that the high end. Oh shit. Yeah. Or, or I'm like, you know, that's what I almost did. I almost did that when it happened. I was just like, mark it out, you know, but yeah. I was like, wait a minute. So you can do limit and then you can, you can actually just do like, I'll give you freaking, I don't know, 300 bucks. You know, I, 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 I'm just going to do three, or, uh, what is it? Three, three dollars. Three. So I'll just do 300 bucks and I put in like, um, good till canceled, you know, and may, maybe I'll, so I made a premium of, let's see, ORMP, so 204. So I can just like, you know, I can, I can just do like two. And then put good till good till canceled, mm-hmm. and then all c- across my fingers. And a- as the days progress and it goes up and down, up and down, it might hit two out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, boom, it, I'm out, you know. And I'm and I'm and I, I'm free and clear. But uh, basically, if I want out, I just buy the contract back, and I'm not stuck with the hundred shares anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's all. That's it. That's- Good. I'll be interested to hear what happens with this one. Uh, I'm probably going to get stuck with it, to be honest. And then um, if you, so I, I, if, if I get stuck with it for like 750, so let me, let me do a calculator here. So if I get, if I get stuck with it, let's see, I got, um, so I bought it at 750. So I, that's, that's negative 750. But I made a um, I made a premium already of uh, what was it? RMP. What is that? Rita. All right, two hundred four. So I made a premium, but let's just say two hundred four. So I'm negative five uh, forty six. Mm-hmm. And if I were to sell my shares at two hundred. Uh, then I would be negative three forty six. But let's say I just I just held on to it and it got up to like three dollars and fifty cents. So I sold it for three fifty. Um, then I would lose one hundred ninety six dollars out of the deal. You know, mm. uh, that that's if like I just waited patiently. Maybe I put a limit order in for for five forty six or something. You know, I you know ultimately if if I get called to buy this uh this company here ORMP. And I own 100 shares. I'm probably going to put a limit order in for my cost adjusted cost basis of five dollars and forty six cents, just so I can break even and walk away. Yeah. yeah. And and realistically, like five forty six is not like a wild ass number. Um, yeah, you may have to hold it for a couple months, depending on what the news is. Yep. Yep. And so this is the first time this has ever happened yeah. to me. Uh, on this, but uh, 546. If I scroll in here, let's see. 546. I mean, that's not like that high. Right. I mean, it's, I, I'm not. I'm not asking for 13. I'm just asking for like. I mean, that that's a pretty solid. Uh, one of the the resistance lines or support yeah, lines. I'm and, just saying, based off of recent events, for whatever reason, it going down to two dollars. You know what I mean? It might take a little bit for it to crawl out of that hole. Yeah, and you know what made me feel good though is I went back and you can see right here, like it plummeted, but it didn't. There was a stop. Yeah. So something's holding it right here. Maybe maybe a couple big companies that didn't bail out that are stable, yeah. they stayed right here. But their investors, a lot of them were like, "I'm out," you know. And <laughs> so they they sold a lot of shares. Yeah. Uh, and it plummeted. Fucking it plummeted from nine. To, so when I bought it at eight dollars and forty four cents, I put a fucking 
stop um, at seven fifty. So like, I bought it. Actually, it was like it was like at twelve dollars or some shit when I bought it. Uh, yeah. And I was like, "There's no fucking way it's gonna drop down to seven fifty. Like, there's no way. Like, I I did the like I did the fucking the math, and it was like <laughs> negative." 40, it was like negative 40% it would have to drop. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. Yeah. Like, what yeah. company drops 40% in 28 days? No fucking way. OMRP. Yeah. <laughs> and the next day, the next day I got up to take a piss and I look at the phone and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I thought it was a glitch. I was like, looking at it, I was like, is that negative 85%? What the fuck? Like, I think, I think it's broken. You know, I'm like, no way, no fucking way. And I, and I, and I, I was like, this can't be happening. And, I, and then I open the fucking, uh, the think or swim or whatever. Yeah. And you see this huge gap. It was like, they went from like 13 to like fucking three. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's, that's when I freaked out. That's when I freaked out. And I pulled up Art Arita. I was like, oh my God. What happened to Rita? You know, because cause this is when I first got into this stupid option dash bullshit, the screener. Yeah. And I thought I was, I thought I just completely fucked myself with this screener. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh my God, this screener <laughs> screwed me, you know? Like, what was I thinking, you know? And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So but Rita, Rita is holding out. So the screener is, the screener is just the screener. It's not, yeah. it's not the fault, you know? Yeah. It's good. You know, it's just shit happens, you know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. all right. Well, I think we're gonna end it end it there. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording. All right.